wanted to try to show you what rabbit tobacco or sweet everlasting looks like. This is some um, that is not quite ready to harvest. When it's ready to harvest, the little those little flowers that are so tightly wound right now, they're going to open up. I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of yellow kind of in the center. And they'll open up and they'll become kind of fuzzy. And then the leaves, which you see here are green, they're silver underneath. And see how the stalk is kind of a silvery color? Well, those green leaves will start to turn, will dry and start to turn silver. And then those will be ready to harvest. And we can use the leaves and the flowers. Um, now, when I'm making a flower essence, as soon as the flowers are open, before they get all fuzzy and dry, I want to get them at the optimal energy point. So I'll take, I'll grab some of those and use them to make the flower remedy. But for all the other purposes, the, um, the dried herb, you want to let it dry on the stalk as much as you can. Wait until everything's nice and silver, including the leaves, before you grab it. Okay, here's a nice little patch of rabbit tobacco, or Sweet Everlasting. Um, if you look at the bottom of the stalk, the leaves are starting to get turned silver. They kind of dry and get a silvery cast to them. You can see underneath. So these will be ready to harvest soon. And this spot, as you can see, if I pull it up here, is next to the woods. It's getting the um, morning to early afternoon sun, and then the sun will move away, so it gets a little bit of shade, and that's where this stuff tends to like to grow. Um, let's see. There's some over here that's getting, that's drying on the stalks nicely. The leaves are. Just got to get it. A little bit longer let those let the upper leaves get dry 